How much fun is that? How much fun can you get out of a little fish? They're awesome. That was me against him then, and I won. So, yeah. <laughs> Sun's out, it's June, and like thousands of others, especially if you live in the Midlands, we all head off down to the coast. And whether you've got a few ankle biters in tow or you've got the fun police with you, i.e. the missus, you know, there's always somewhere, some water you can see. And if you're an angler like me, you want to go fish it. Every time I see a bit of water, I want to fish it. And these harbours have always fascinated me, but I've always thought, you know what, I can't fish them because I ain't got the gear. Well, now everybody's got the gear to come and fish this because there's an absolute it's like an aquarium, an aquatic world under there, where these kids are crabbing, they're catching little stuff. There's tons of fish down there. There's scorpion fish, there's wrasse, there's flatfish, there's absolutely everything in these kind of harbours. And I've come down to Weymouth today to try and catch these. All the stuff I've got, I've put in the car, you know, it's my perch gear. I've used a light rod, light reel. All I need is a split shot, a bit of line, a hook and some ice on me, and jobs are good in. So I'm going to pop to the local tackle shop, Weymouth Angling Centre, and try and get a, a bit of an insight in exactly what to do pick his brains and see what's going on. So come on, let's go and pop in the shop. Right, so Andy, just interrupting you through a part of your busy day, you know, and I've come down to Weymouth as a holiday maker. Yep. I've already got my perching kit, so unfortunately I'm not going to buy a rod today, but you have got them if I need the suitable stuff. You have, yes. And if I've got to pick something else up for this LRF, and you must have seen an explosion in it, more people going, what kind of stuff can I start with? The basic stuff, you know. I've left the fun police at home, yep. the missus is going around, she thinks I've come out for a coffee, I want to grab a few hours. What kind of stuff have I got to buy? Well, it's mind-boggling when you first see it, but we always say get a pocket in, a Maruku pocket, pocket in, Right. everything in there, um, the heads, the worms, everything's there, ready to go. Same kind of stuff I use for perch fishing. It's, it's, it's perch, you use it for wrasse fishing in the harbour, pollock, uh, there's seven sorts of wrasse you get in the harbour here. Um, wow. all, all the mini species, they love it. And um, that's our top selling um, starter kit. We call it a starter kit, but we get experienced hangers by yeah. as well. So everything's in there. It's probably 30 lures in there as wow. well. So it's um, a perfect starter kit for all sorts of predatory fishing. Right, and the next thing is, is that something that I've been told you should never leave home without, is this stuff. The isomy worm. I saw me well. Yeah. What is it, mate, about this? Oh, because it's... every single LRF forever, I just see using this. But this is so good, we've had to ban it from no uh, way by competitions. Yep, yeah? um, because people are using it, just casting it out and leaving it on regular rigs and catching as many fish as they were with bait. So it works as well as bait, yeah, is it? It works. You don't have to work it. You don't have to work it as a lure. You just use it as a bait. Because I've seen something in it when I first tried this stuff. I, I wasn't, so I thought it was some kind of uh, witchcraft they were selling you do, me. You do, you look at it and think, oh, is it going to work? But it is amazing. We just chop it up, don't even use it as a whole worm. And just, just chop pieces small up. Small chunks of it. So also as well, it's pretty easy to keep as well. I could put it in my pocket and, yeah, and again. I mean, lots of people take it on holiday. Um, it's a great bait because you go abroad, especially abroad, you can't find baits and things. So this is, goes in the suitcase. It's a fantastic, a fantastic um, product to take abroad with. So basically then, all I'm going to need is pretty much this. This, this and this you're away. The tides, do they affect it in a harbour town like this or can I fish at any time? You can fish any time but we always say two hours either side of high water is a perfect time to fish. Um, right. As um, you obviously got pontoons, you get all, a lot of ropes exposed, so you need to know you need to know where you're fishing really in the harbour. Yeah. Because there are a few snags in the harbour, so two hours either side of high water, you can get there, see what's there, and then fish the two hours up. And if I was going to get a complete 
guide to it, this thing, the Weymouth Angling Centre guide. Is this, this guide is superb. It's a, a pocket guide to fishing in the local area. It gives you a, a monthly guide to what's around, what you're likely to catch from the boat and the shore. Before, yeah. So pretty much then, if I walk into Weymouth Angling Centre, I'm sorted. I've got, I, I can pick up my stuff. Yep. You know the tides. Yep. Yeah, I'm not, you're not going to be too busy if I say, look, mate, I'm a complete novice. No, I've we, never... we, we explain to everybody, we, 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 we try and help. Even if it's so busy in the shop, we will go out of our way to point the marks out because some, sometimes you'll find the top end of the harbour works, the lower end of the harbour, or on the pier works. So we'll explain um, where the best place to go is. Well, as the well. proof of the pudding is then, you're going to sort me out with some gear. Yep. You've told me the tide times. Yep. I'm gonna go outside and catch one. It's all down to you then. If I, oh, <laughs> thanks for the blame on me. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Okay, so this is the scenario. Okay, you've come down on holiday for a few weeks, probably the main weeks, like it is half term, and you're there with the misses and the ankle biters and you're wondering, can I get a bit of gear in? I can just sneak off for a couple of hours and just do a bit of this LRF in. That's the beauty of it, you know. It's accessible to all. You might have a perch, bit of kit, you might have a, a tip rod, absolutely anything. All you need is your rod, your split shot, and a glamorous handbag full of gear. A bit of ice on me. You can sneak that anywhere. There's no stuff in the fridge. You ain't gonna put no ragworm in the fridge. Just keeps, just in a packet like that. Put it anywhere, hold it in your boxer shorts, absolutely anywhere. Get yourself a rod, split shot, bit of ice on me. That's it. The most fun you can have with your clothes on, I'm telling you. So, LRF in, what's it all about? Well, light rock fishing, as it stands for, is not me fishing with a light rock. It really is absolutely as simple as it can get. And all I've got here, tackle-wise, as I've been to the shop, bought the main bit, the bait, all I've got is my normal perch fishing gear, which I've got like a really light 1,000 size reel, some fairly light braid, six pound braid. To it, I've just tied some mono, I've got a split shot and a hook to nylon. And the more, the real important thing is a bit of isome and that's attached to a size 14 super spade hook which can get from any tackle shop anywhere or well, you might even have them you know that's the good thing about this and that is fundamentally there's no there's no vajazzle going on here this is proper just simple as it gets a split shot a rod and a hook and what you're trying to do is you're just trying to drop it in these little crevices and the fun starts when you try and catch the different types of species that's it So we've come down by the seaside. As you can see, it's absolutely packed with people crabbing all over. It's fantastic watching all these people enjoying themselves. And all I've done now is drop that little bit of isomium with a, with a split shot. And it's basically as simple as that. All I'm gonna do, like perch fishing, I'm looking for structure. And I've got just a little, oh, I had a bite then. I've just got a little drop, I'm sure I had a bite. Got like a little drop off. Oh yeah, I've got a fish. This is the bit now. What is it, what is it, what is it, what is it? Oh no, he's wrapped around something, is he? Oh, no, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. How <laughs> oh, ah, cool is that, look. Look at that bad boy. Well, that is called a goby. And they're a very common fish, but can you see the excitement of it when you get in a bite? You just don't know what it's going to be. And he's just took, so have a look here. Let's have a look at his took. Tiny little bit of ice on me. Look at him. Cute. How cute is that little thing? So that's it, that's the species ticked off. You know, it might not be the biggest fish in the world. But it's so fascinating waiting for a bite. Let me go and drop this one back and try and catch something else. So having to move around uh, people and crab lines everywhere. All I'm doing is just poking it in every single little hole I can really. I'm just dropping it in little nooks and crannies, hoping there's something there. And the tide is just coming in now, so it's really racing. I've only got this swan shot on, it's like really ripping through. 
but it's making things a little bit difficult, more difficult than I'd like anyway. Uh, that little monkey, <laughs> look at him. If the cameraman can look at that face and see how fearsome that is, look at him. El Scorfano. As you can see, the wind's really got up, it's blowing a hoolie, and the swan shot just didn't suffice anymore. So what I've done, nothing special again, there's no real art to these rigs, I've just got my drop shot rig out, there's a little bit of a bigger drop shot, I can handle it with my uh, gecko pigeon, and I've put a huge piece of isome on, wacky style. So look at that, looks completely wacky. And there's the drop shot. Oh, oh, oh. Scorfano. Oh, oh, oh. Scorfano. Oh, oh, oh. Look at these things. Absolute. Oh, look at him. He's the greatest looking fish in the world. Look at his face. And look at the bit of ice home he's just had. Three foot long. Whew. You beauty. Mwah. He's as ugly as me. Look at him. Beautiful. Oh yeah, no! <laughs> no! 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 Oh, whatever they are, they're coming out the cracks in the wall. I think they might be little uh, blennies. How cool is this? Adult crabbing. Without crabs. You little tinker. That's two that have evaded him, isn't there? Little buggers. Man versus fish now. Whatever's giving me these little knocks, I'm going to have them. I will have the little buggers. And a little bit of tweaking. A little bit of twonking. And oh, I'm going to catch this little bleeder. Whatever it is, I'm going to catch him. Because you're getting on me wick. Tiny little cracks and crevices, where they are. Yeah! <laughs> what? You little monkey! You little monkey! Ah, he's bit me, he's bit me, he's bit me! That means it's a blenny. Oh. Look, it's all, I told you I'd get you. Sorry for the swearing, but I told you I'd get you. You little beauty. Oh, what a stunning fish. Oh. Let me come and show you this fish. Wow. How cool is that? Look at that. And look at his coloration. Do you know what? If you can just have a look at the wall down below me, you'll see. Is that colour for camouflage? What a beautiful little lad he is. Them are a pair of gnashers. I don't know whether he can zoom in quick on them. But this little bugger, with his mouth open there, has just bit me. <laughs> they do bite you. How much fun is that? How much fun can you get out of a little fish? They're awesome. That was me against him then, and I won. So, yeah. <laughs> so, that's it, you know, we've had a couple of hours. Uh, we're not getting it right on the tide. The town centre is absolutely packed. But I hope I can try and convey to you how much fun you can have doing this, you know. They're not massive fish, they're not tuna, they're not sharks. But it's a real battle, you against a species. You're trying to pick up as many species as possible. And it is just simple as taking a rod, 
taking your bits and pieces, grabbing a bit of ice only and getting down the coast. While the missus isn't in, you can just go and uh, have a little fish to your heart's content. And like any angler, you know, you've got to like water. I absolutely love water, I love fishing, and I do not think you can get better than this. So grab yourself some bits and bobs, grab yourself a bit of ice only, and get out there and go and catch some fish. I'm going to carry on. <laughs>